Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. So in our previous video, we studied how we can install FluentD, Elasticsearch and Kibana. And in this video, we are going to write some logs and we will use FluentD to push all those logs to Elasticsearch. So let's get started. So to save time, I have already written a basic Python code, which will give us the values of the temperature. So we do not have any temperature connected to our Raspberry Pi and that's why we are just using the random module to simulate the temperature values. So let me just walk you through the code. So in this code, we have imported all the appropriate uh, modules, Python modules we required. Uh, here we have taken log file, log.json file. Here we are simply taking a dictionary which will hold uh, the logs for us. Um, here we are just simply getting the random values between 20 and 40 and we are considering these values as a temperature. So we will upload the values of the temperature to Elasticsearch and then there we will try to visualize all these values in the Kibana. Now in this we are just simply putting all our um, random values. So for example here we are just taking a count of how many messages we have pushed. Here we are appending uh, we are adding the temperature values to the to, to our dictionary and simply we are also taking a created timestamp so this is just the date timestamp when the log was created now after this here we are simply um, saving all this information in our log.json file and then we are uh, uh, using the delay for the three seconds now let me just quickly run this code to show you how the logs are looking like so Okay, this is running. Now simply let's tail the log file. Okay, now here you can see that it is, this is, this is the log file. This is basically, this is the log which we will uh, send to Elasticsearch. So it contains a value count, which is simply just the count of how many messages uh, we are sending. Now it also has a temperature values. Obviously we don't have the real uh, sensor so these are just the randomly generated uh, values and this is just the created timestamp so we will send this data to Elasticsearch now after this let's also create the FluentD configuration file which is the most important part of this video so for that let's open let's create a new file and we will name this file as fluent.conf let's open this file in a text editor now there are two important parts in a FluentD configuration file. One is the source part and another is the match part. Now source is where we define our input uh, file configuration like from where we will get our logs and match is where we define our destination our output uh, configuration which in our case will be the elastic search so in source we will define the log.json file which we are creating via our python service which is this particular log.json file so now let's begin and edit this so first thing we need to uh, what we need to mention here is the type of the file so in our case sorry the type uh, type which will in our case will be the tail because we will be tailing the file now after this we need to mention the path of the file so i'll simply type in here home pi efk and log.json in the same way we also have to mention the path for the position file <clears throat> now this position file is automatically created by fluentd to track uh, where it is inside our uh, log file so we don't need to worry much about this file great now after this we need to mention the format so we are using format as json so i will simply mention json here now we need to mention the time format so time format Now here we also need to mention the tag. 
um, this tag is this tag is required when let's say you have multiple source multiple source configuration and multiple match configuration so you will match the source to their particular match using this tag so i'll simply uh, use tag as a log here now the same log will be used inside my match yes here now inside this match uh, i have to mention the my output configuration so first thing i will mention here is type which in our case is elastic search now inside this we need to mention the host which is the url of our elastic search so let me just quickly copy the url okay after this you can mention the username and the password but we don't have any um, uh, any security link to this so we'll ignore that uh, another thing which we need to mention is the index name so in elasticsearch all the data is referenced via an index name you can consider this as a table which we normally create in uh, our databases so for index name we will let's let's take temperature because we are uploading the temperature value so let's take index as temperature and we also need to mention the type type name and we can take type name as log so I think that's all. Let's quickly revise. So this is our all the source input configuration file. This is our the output configuration. Here we are simply mentioning that this is the path of the file which we have to tail. Um, this is the position file which FluentD will automatically create. We are also mentioning the format as JSON and this is our time format. Inside this we are mentioning that we need to upload the data to Elasticsearch and which Elasticsearch and this is the URL of the Elasticsearch and we are mentioning index name as temperature. So this is done. Now let's run FluentD. So for that I will type in command FluentD, FluentD minus C and then name of the file fluent.conf. This will take some time to load the configuration and then it will finally start. So you can see here that it has loaded successfully. This is all our configuration and down here it also says that following the tail of this particular file which we will generate from our Python code and then finally the fluent D worker is has now started now let's quickly start our code as well so i'll simply type python 3 app.py now this has also started and let's keep tailing the log file okay so you can see that our code is running our fluent D is running our logs are generating fine now let's go to uh, let's go to kibana and let's see if this data appears there or not so let me just first quickly refresh the Kibana and first thing which we need to do is we need to add the index pattern which we have created. So for that go to stack management and go to index pattern. Now here you will see here you will see create index pattern. Now type here temperature and you will see that it says your index pattern matches one source. Click next step. Now here you it gives you an option of selecting a time field so if you remember we are using created as a time field in our python code in the log so I'll choose this one and create index pattern. Now once this is created it will show you all the attributes you have so we have created which is which has a data type of date we have count values which is a number and again the temperature which is again the number. Now once you have created your index pattern you, you can go to discover and you can select your index pattern and this will start showing you all the data perfect so here it is displaying all the data which our python code is generating and you can see it also shows here count nine count nine so which means that at this particular time this amount of data was uh, recorded so in this way you can use FluentD to upload all your logs JSONs to Elasticsearch. So in the, in the next videos we will probably work on some of the queries and then we will finally design some visualizations or the dashboard for our uh, logs. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.